10 minutes past six now. Thanks, Michael. Another damning report has been released calling for an immediate overhaul of Oranga Tamariki. Chief Ombudsman Peter Bosher has called for changes on a scale rarely required and rarely seen before. The new Minister for Children, Karen Shaw, joins us to talk about the report's findings. Thank you very much for being with us, Minister. Good morning. Good morning, Melissa. Do you agree with the Chief Ombudsman that we must see a complete overhaul and that Oranga Tamariki, as you said, is failing on almost every level? I think um, this just proves that what I've been saying in opposition and even before becoming an MP, um, that there does need to be a real overhaul within the system, making sure that we're getting things right. And, and I really appreciate um, that we do have a system where people can go and can express their concerns and that there is someone holding us to account and we should be held to account. Who do you think is, is responsible or, or are there any people in particular that are responsible for the failings we've seen? I don't think it's one person that is responsible. I think it's a system that's been lost for a long time. And that's why one of my core priorities is around actually making sure that we're resourcing and training staff so that they can um, perform to the best of their abilities. Because right now, um, he's correct, it is a lottery system. And it should be that there is a no wrong door policy within Oranga Tamariki, that no matter where you go in the country, that young people will get um, the wraparound services and the care that they deserve. Do you think that Chappie Takani, the um, current chief executive at Oranga Tamariki, should be fronting on this issue? He, we did put a request out, he has refused that. Is that warranted, do you think? Yeah, I mean there was talk about that. Um, Nicolette um, spoke yesterday because um, actually that's Nicolette's role when it comes to, to these issues and, and she knows that role well. Um, I've been working with Chappie, I can't control what's happened in the past, all I can do is control what's happening now. Um, Chappie is on board with the changes that I have been bringing forward and, and I'm, I'm excited to see uh, a new direction for Oranga Tamariki uh, because for years I've been frustrated with the system and I'm determined um, to turn it around and get it right. One of your frustrations over the years, because we have spoken to you about it, is um, mm. babies, particularly newborns, being wrongly uplifted. Now, this does mm. seem to suggest that actually those uh, numbers are decreasing, but the report raises mm. that it's happening all too often to older children. Is that a concern for you? Yeah, so Oranga Tamariki deals with young people that come to their attention. Uh, they can't control what happens to young people before that. Before that. And this is a multi-agency approach. Um, this is around housing, education, health, mental health. And, and I think that should be a core priority too for myself also, which it is. Working with other ministries and other organisations, making sure we're all working together for the same end goal, which is to make sure that these young people get the services um, that they deserve uh, because they've already been through enough already when they've come to the attention of Oranga Tamariki and, and we should not be making it worse. Would you expect that the number of overall uplifts will go down under your watch? Look, I, I don't set targets around um, how many kids are care. If a kid needs to be in care, they need to be in care. What I need to make sure is that once they are in our care, that they're safe, they're loved, and they have all the things that they need, which is education, health, and a roof over their head, and somebody that actually cares about them. Um, so that's my concern. Uh, uh, we can't go by, uh, by trying to target lowering the amount of kids in care. If a child needs care, they need care, and we have to do that well. Totally, and what are your uh, measurables then? How will you know that you're doing a better job? 
So I'm going around the country at the moment and visiting as many frontline staff as I can to hear what their concerns are, where they feel the gaps are. Because I've heard in opposition that we've lost many good staff because we haven't listened to their voices. We haven't listened when they've said we're so overworked, we've got too many caseloads, um, their mistakes are going to happen. Um, and this is what we need to be listening to and make the changes that the frontline staff need to be able to do their job and do their job well and work with community organisations uh, because they know what's going on in the, on, on the ground. They can get into homes that Oranga Tamariki can't uh, because unfortunately that trust is gone and my aim is to bring that trust back. The Ombudsman says that um, we're working on it doesn't cut it anymore, that there has to be a, a time measure, a point in time where there's a clear, clear demonstration that the inconsistencies have been ironed out. So what is the date or the point in time that you're working towards? Yeah, I can't give specific dates. I've just got my feet under the desk. But what I can tell you is that we will set priorities and we will have uh, regular check-ins to make sure we're meeting those priorities and there will be accountability on outcomes throughout the whole organisation because that's been lacking in the past and I've made that very clear uh, that there will be accountability, there will be outcomes and we need to focus on what's the most important thing here and that's the young people. Totally. You do have a big job on your hands and we wish you all the very best and thank you for your time this morning. That is Minister for Children, Karen thank Chaw, you. at 16 past six. Now, Oranga Tamariki, as I said, uh, didn't want to come on the show, but they did send a statement saying they're committed to improving the way they work with children, families and communities. And we thank the Ombudsman for his comprehensive and considered report, which will continue to help shape the way we work. Oranga Tamariki says, we acknowledge the distressing nature of some of the individual stories of of those who have come forward to share their experiences, there are people who deserved a lot better from us.